God. I do not make it. Hallelujah. I give my honor to the Holy Ghost that's in this place. Thank you, Lord. 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 Praise Lord, everybody. Praise Amen. God is going to give us to Brother Greg and Mr. Greg and his absence. Our brother back there, Brother Benny, is going to go for him. Family member being with us. And God is just so good. We're going to go right into the word of the Lord. We're not going to keep you long tonight. We're going to give you a little word and then we're going to, amen, go home and enjoy. Amen. Being able to appreciate that. Amen. We'll see you on Wednesday at the altar. We want you to pray. Amen. And be blessed to the Lord, all right? One for Jesus. And someone, the Christians, let me know somebody didn't uh, pay a tithe and you're offering uh, $13 in an envelope, but you didn't put a name on it. So we want you to, uh, thank you gave $13 in the envelope. We want to give you credit for that. Uh, amen. You deserve the credit. You gave the money, amen. And I think maybe perhaps prematurely you forgot to put your name on it, all right? So see if you can curtain for that. It'll show it to you in Jesus' name. Let's go to the book, amen, of St. Matthew. All right. St. Matthew chapter number 8. Let's all stand as we give reverence to the reading of his word. St. Matthew chapter number 8. I'm just so happy today to be saved. Amen. Yes. 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 I'm so happy to be saved. Yes. 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 Yes.
Bring down every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of who you are. Yeah, we pray yeah. right now that your word will bring forth deliverance to somebody that hears this word. We pray, we pray that it will bring conversion. We pray, Lord, that someone God today will go down to water baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody be delivered today. Have your way in our prayer, God, and we give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. Let's all say in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. May be seated. As you keep your Bibles open, I'd like for you to look at verse number 17. Which I'll lift my text from that. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmities and bare bear our sicknesses. For a topic this afternoon, I'd like to talk to your heart. The Lord is able. Look at your neighbor and tell them the Lord, the Lord is, able is able and willing. And willing. Say it again. With conviction, the Lord is able. The Lord is able. And willing. And willing. So subtopic, leave it with him. Leave it with him. In this eighth chapter of the book of St. Matthew, uh, it talks about three individuals that needed healing. The leper, the centurion servant, and Peter's mother-in-law. Amen. In each of these cases, we find that uh, they came to Jesus. Yes. Each individual had an expectation of something from the Lord. It's really unfortunate today that we live in a time where individuals have lost expectation. Many individuals today have uh, been disappointed so much, praise the Lord, and heartbroken. So many times that, think about the scripture that says, put no confidence in the flesh. Amen? Yeah. <clears throat> think of many times you put your hopes and dreams and desires of individuals and they said they would come through for you and when you came to when you really needed them, Amen. they weren't there. Right. I think many times our intentions are right, but many times because we are flesh and because we're frail, we have... Uh, the tendency not to be able to come through like our heart's desire. Yes, yes, the Lord, Peter told him, the Lord said, Lord, I'll be with you always. I'll, I'll die for you. But in the time of testing, we find here that he really didn't have what it took to stand the pressure. I want to let you know today that the pressures in life, amen, are real. Yes, the pressures yes. in life are there. We do feel the adversary on every side. Seems recently, the saints are having dreams where the enemy is trying to come in and try to attack us while we're asleep. Yeah, Listen to Pastor Golder earlier, he said the devil was come. I like him using that word because uh, when you're down, when you're basically unconscious asleep, the devil has the audacity to jump on you. Yeah, he knows when you're, in, when you're aware of your mental senses, you would not allow him to come in. Amen? If you ever found yourself having to awake in the middle of the night because of a bad dream, the enemy came in and having to use the authority of the name of Jesus hey, and you get into the spirit. Amen? Yes, yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. Sometimes during the day, an evil thought will come in your mind and the old folks will say, I rebuke you, Satan. Yes, yes, so we're up against pressure today. We're up against opposition. I want to talk this afternoon for a few minutes about three areas of healing. We do need to be healed, of course, physically. So I said, well, Pastor, why are we in a situation like this? We're in a situation like this because of man's disobedience. Yeah. Because of man's disobedience, because of Adam and Eve, uh, the transgression sickness that's coming to the world today. Amen. Understand the devil works in the arena of weaknesses. Yeah. If you look back at this area of scripture here, I want to center in again on verse number 17. Verse 16 puts it in the proper context. It says, and when they evil was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. And he cast, praise God, he cast out the spirits, plural, with his word. Do you understand today that the word you speak has the ability to create? 
Amen. Some individuals say, I'm so angry I could kill somebody. You never use those type of words. Amen. Because you reinforce and you produce in the spirit the creative abilities. And the devil takes that word, amen, and he works the atmosphere to get you to go to a place that you don't want to be. Amen? That's right. Amen. The Bible lets us know here, let the weak say, I am strong. He cast out spirits with his word. And he healed all, somebody say all, all. that were sick. And it might be fulfilled and spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying, I love this, himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Today we have physical sickness. Yeah, yeah. We have emotional ailments. Yeah. Sometimes the enemy wants to plague you to be worried and to be upset about things you have absolutely no control over. Amen? Amen. Sometimes, amen, we go frustrated to the point that our faith fails God. Thank you, Jesus. Sister Julia gave a nice lesson in the Sunday school to the young people. She told them about what Jesus said. If you had faith as a grain of a mustard seed, amen, yeah, yeah. you could speak to the mountain and it shall be removed. When you look at your storm rather than the God of your storm, you're headed for trouble. That's right. When you have a tendency to look at the ailment and mind battles, rather than God that's above your emotions, amen, then you've got to more or less step back and you've got to get a second look at God. Hallelujah. The enemy comes in to cloud our perception about who God is. And if you look at verse number 17 here, it says here, praise the Lord, himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. I want to put this thought in your mind here that if Christ is willing, praise the Lord, to take our infirmities, which is which are our sicknesses, our ailments, if He's willing to do that, Amen. Amen. Why is it that so many times we don't take it to God in prayer? Yeah. Amen? Amen. Why is it so many times it seems easier we take the easy way to worry rather than trust God? Yeah. Yeah. Bills are always going to come. As you get older, amen, the pain you had in this shoulder, next month it might be in this shoulder, amen? amen. And I'm reminded of what the songwriter said, oh, what needless pain we bear, all because we do not take it to the Lord in prayer. Yes. The Bible lets me know that he that cometh to God must believe that he is God and that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. The third area here, we find ailment, praise the Lord, of spiritual sickness. If you look at verse number 13 here, Jesus gives these words, and the centurion felt, Lord, I'm not even worthy to come underneath my roof. But understanding authority, he said to the Lord, just speak a word. Yeah, yeah. We find the reward here in verse number 13. As thou hast believed, so be it done unto me. Yes. I don't know, praise the Lord, what's in your cup today, but I believe you can make it harder today by not believing and trusting God. Right. Yeah. Yeah. When you do that, I think you find yourself going against the grain of God's word because let's take God at his whole word. Yeah. The Lord said, I came that you might have life and have it how? Sure. More abundantly. Is it really abundant life when you really don't understand the peace that God has given you? Right. Is it really abundant life when you don't understand that there's healing all the time in the name of the Lord Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. The reward here today is to understand that it's not harder over here in holiness than it is out there in the world. Thank you, the way the transgressor is hard. Yeah. And I said, well, Pastor, I don't understand. I'm saved, but you know, why is it that it seems like I'm stuck in a rut, stuck in the mud here? It's because this fall of nature comes to trip us up. Amen? Yeah. We have a tendency because of human nature. We think we have to put our hands on things and fix things. God is saying here today, I need you to, 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 to get out of the driver's seat of your life. Amen. Yeah. 
Some of us, have not had, we haven't had the help that we needed coming up along the way. Right. Sometimes we come from broken homes and maybe a dad wasn't there. Maybe we're pushed around from foster home to foster home. And it seems like we've had to make it all by ourselves. Yes. I'm here to talk to you this afternoon because the Lord is telling me to tell you, amen, that there's peace and there's safety in the arms of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm here to let you know this afternoon, amen, that God comes to give you rest. Yes, Lord. He said, I promise that I keep you in complete peace whose mind is stayed on me. Amen? Amen. Look at this here. You keeping your mind on the Lord means you're going to have to have some work that you're going to have to exert here. But I want to let you know here that God is not saying for you to be on the outside looking in. Many times it's because of the man that had leprosy. I love when the pastors of Scripture puts it because it says here, even the man with leprosy. Notice when they had leprosy, they were commanded to go outside. They, can't, they couldn't be around people. They were to cry out unclean, unclean, so it was very, it was a very isolated life. It'd be so much today if somebody came out and they said, I, I you know, I'm, I'm with a disease like AIDS or something. Yeah. When it first came out, people didn't want to be around other people. Mm -hmm. Amen. They want to eat behind them, drink behind them. And, and you know, there was a phobia about that type of disease. And the man that had leprosy here, we find here no matter what the crowd or what the environment was, look at this. He came to Jesus yes. and he worshiped. Yes, I said he came to Jesus. Yes. Some of you today are thinking, you know what, I, I really can't come to the Lord because I got so many things on my plate. I just I just can't get to a place where I can just, you know, just give it all to the Lord. But the Lord is saying here, I believe in the Spirit, is saying, I need you to take all your frustrations and all your problems. And the Lord said, cast it on me. We have a tendency not to do that because we think, well, if I give it to the Lord, then you know, I've let the Lord down because somehow God expects me to do it. But nowhere in the scripture did the Lord say that you are to work out your own situation. Right. Amen? Amen. Jesus wouldn't be Lord, praise God. Amen. Or in other words, we would not trust him as Lord. If we could work out all of our situations, we wouldn't have need of him. Yeah, yeah. So we find in the human condition. Praise the Lord causes us, amen, to humble ourselves before the Lord and say, Lord, if there's ever a time I need you, I need you right now. Right. Right now. Amen. It does not mean that you're not as spiritual, that you're not as strong, Hallelujah. because there is a desperate need to want to know who he is. Yes, yes. Even today who don't know who he is, they find themselves lying up early, or late at night, and rising up early in the morning, scratching their heads, and the same old problems that they went to bed with, amen, those problems are there the next day. And I'm, so, I'm, I'm coming to understand and know today that it's so much easier, look at this, not only when you give it to God, but when you leave it in His hands. God is telling us today that you've got to come to a place where you're willing to trust the Lord with what you don't have. You got to get to a place that you're willing to trust the Lord with what you don't see. But yes. yeah. go to get your human reasoning conditioning, amen? It's the spiritual man that understands the things that be of God, but the natural man does not discern that. Praise God. We get, we get it away because we try to reason out, Lord, how are you going to do this? And Lord, when are you going to do this? And we get anxious and we get frustrated and we get worried. And then the tool of discouragement falls into place, amen? So we think after we prayed for a while and God didn't show up when we wanted him to show up, then God's wrath is not coming by. Yes. And I want to let you know today that the God that you and I serve is a faithful God. Oh, yes. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. All right, sing the song, Great Things. Great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. The psalmist said, I would have fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord. I'm reminded of David. Amen. When the army came in and they somewhat overthrew them. David had to get to himself and he had to encourage himself in the Lord. Yeah. I don't know what it takes for you to be strong, but I, I've come to understand here today uh, that this is the real fight that we're up against. Yes, yes. Because no sooner than we try to make a step toward God, it seems like we got an enemy pushing on each side of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Reminded of the scripture that says, amen, that the violent take it by force. So I come to let you know today there's some things Amen. Worth trusting the Lord for. Yeah. The man that had leprosy said, Lord, I know that you're able to heal me. 
but are you willing? Yes. Let me ask you the question. Why do you think God does not want to bless you? Yes, Lord. How did you come to conceive, amen, and even though his word is a word filled with promises, why do you feel, amen, that you're not worthy of being blessed? Yes, Lord. Yes. After all, haven't you suffered? <coughs> haven't you done without? Amen? amen? Have you been faithful in paying your tithes and coming out to the house of God? Then why has your expectation in God vanished? I was let patience have her complete work in you. Yes. <coughs> patience has a way of being able to understand that in the time of tribulation, I've got to trust God. Right. In the time when the loved ones that I care about and I give the love out and, they, and the love does, is not returned back to me, I've got to trust God's word that he still knows what's best. Yes. Amen. Yes. When I go on my job, perhaps... And others don't quite understand uh, why I do and why I don't do what I don't do. I've got to know that I've got to love them even when they don't understand me. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. You understand today that uh, as the Son of God or the Son of Man, that Jesus was frustrated. Yes, he was. Nothing hurt him more than people not believing him. Nothing tore God's heart more, amen, than him sitting down and breaking bread with them. And performing the miracle, doing all the things, raising the dead. And yet they looked at him as if he was some type of strange uh, thing from out of space and they could not comprehend that the Son of God came to save that which was lost. Yes. Everybody had their own type of uh, uh, territory. The Pharisees were caught up in their religious structure. And who is this Son of God coming to, to more or less? take away from my spiritual territory. Amen. And then they would get Caesar, and they would say, you know, he's, a, he's an individual against Caesar. So uh, on both sides, you have the Lord Jesus. Amen. The Pharisees and the religious structure coming against him, and then you would have Caesar, the government, coming against him. He comes to his own, the Jews, the one he has chosen. They said, are you greater than our father Abraham? And I'm sure Jesus had to shake his head and didn't even understand that I am the only true salvation for you. In other words here, there's going to come trouble that's going to come your way, Jerusalem. You haven't seen the worst of it yet. Amen. amen. He said amen in the times that are yet to come. He went on to say, he that's on a house stop, let him stay there. Woe to those, amen, that give what suck. Amen. Because tribulation was coming. You understand today because of the rejection of the Son of God, God has already poured out His wrath upon many individuals. You don't want to believe that today. But for you, it's different. We find ourselves like the man that has leprosy, and we hesitate to reach out and say, Lord, I'm the one that needs to deliver us. Yes, I got it. Yes. We find ourselves not being honest with ourselves and say, you know what, we put on a church face, and, and you know, we, we act like everything's okay, but then we go home and we cry. Close the blinds. We don't want to let anybody really know really what's going on. Amen. Amen. I come to tell you today that the Lord loves you. The Lord cares about you. God is still in the healing business. Yes, amen. Not only praise the Lord that we find here the centurion understanding, praise the Lord, but uh, the power of the word we find here. Uh, he was getting back or looking at the principle what Adam lost in the garden. Adam failed to take dominion. Adam failed, praise the Lord, to put the adversary in place. And now we're in the midst of trying to regain and get back to the place of Eden. Yes. We find here that when Jesus comes upon the scene, and I like the plurality here that we find in verse number 16, because the Bible says that when the evil was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits, praise God, with his word. I've been telling y'all for some years now, you're going to have to defeat the enemy of silence. Yes, yes. Because when you're quiet, you're not quiet. Mm. When you're quiet, the wheels of your mind are still turning. That's Amen? Right. Mm -hmm. Pastor, what are you saying? When we don't let the praise, we don't let the worship come out, come out we've already given place to the devil. Yes, We've already, praise the Lord, in our mind, have settled within that God is not going to bless me. And I'm reminded, man, of what the prophet said in the Old Testament. 
He said, during the time of famine, he said, why should we sit here and die? The prophet said, 24 hours from now, amen, God's going to give you, amen, a 24-hour blessing. Yes. It was so rough back in the Old Testament, we find, amen, that the mothers were eating their own children. We find, amen, that there was no food anywhere. But the prophet went on to told to tell them, I know it looks so bad now, amen, but God is going to turn things around. Yes. Amen. So we're here, uh, we, we come to understand as people of faith, we are not immune from struggles. Yes. We're not immune from heartache. That's right. Unfortunately, amen, when we are saved, we're doing everything we know we ought to do. Sometimes our loved ones, because they're not in the right place in God, loved ones walk away from us when they ought to appreciate us. Sometimes, amen, when two parents are saved, children, amen, they grow up in the church and they know better, they walk away from God. Amen? Right, amen. I don't know what your tribulation, what your trouble may be, but I come to let you know today, I believe the Lord is telling the church, it's time for us to speak a word into our heart. Yes. I believe the Lord is telling the church today, you've got to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Hallelujah. Amen. If everybody lays down, if everybody compromises, and what about, amen, amen, those that are within our city today? They'll say, amen, there's nothing to Pentecost. There's nothing to the power of God. But I just come, amen, to, to tell the devil and to serve him notice today. That I don't know what other people may believe on the other side of town, but the God that I serve, not only, praise God, is he able, amen, but the God that I serve, amen, is willing. Put your hands together and give God some worship. Amen. So come and praise the Lord. And I can sit down in the seat, amen, and do nothing. It's time not to sit down, praise God, as if our God cannot hear. Amen. The writer went on to say, praise the Lord, that the arm of the Lord is not shortened that it cannot save. The God that we serve today is a God that's able to reach down out of heaven and able to pick you up out of depression. Yes. The God that you serve today is able to reach down out of heaven and to pick you up, praise God, out of loneliness. Yes. The God you, you and I serve today is able to reach down, praise the Lord, out of heaven. Amen. In the midst of all of your bills, I still believe today that God is a Jehovah God. Amen. He still will provide. So believe Amen. In my closing, I just want you to go on and as the song said, get all of your blessings. Amen. Go on. Amen. Beyond adversity. Go on beyond the veil of tears here today. Amen. As we look back at our forefathers, and as we move up to election day, this coming Tuesday, amen, where will we be as a people if somebody was not a trailblazer? Where will we be, praise God, as a nation? Amen. And we didn't come together, amen, and shed blood for things that we believed in the freedom. Amen. Where will we be as a people of God if the captain of our salvation, Jesus Christ himself, would have laid down, amen, when the devil came up against him? But I'm so glad to know today, amen, that Jesus has defeated every demon in the hell. And you and I can be more than conquerors in him. Amen. Nobody was able to do it, but we find here, amen, that when he laid out there on Calvary, uh, praise God, and when he gave up the ghost, uh, my Bible tells me he took the keys of hell and of death, and he went and he preached unto the spirits, amen, that were in hell. Uh, but I come to ask you today, what spirit are you willing to preach to? Uh, amen, amen, what spirit, praise God, are you willing to put in check today? Uh, amen, understand today, depression is a spirit. Uh, Loneliness, praise God, is a spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Anger is a spirit today. Yeah. And whatever is your opposition today, God is saying, I'm giving you the keys today of the word of God. Yeah. I've already gone into heaven right now. Yeah.
But let's take it on up a little notch higher. Huh? Let's say, Lord, I need your blessing. God. Lord, I need you to renew my mind. Lord, I need you to renew my joy. Huh? Amen. Let's be honest with ourselves and with God. Huh? Amen. That we need the Lord to open up the tap today. Huh? Amen. Of God's anointing and rain on us. Huh? Don't you know today if you don't expect anything from God, huh? You won't get anything from God. Right. Amen. But I'm believing today, and I'm going to speak for myself. Uh, as I come to God, I'm believing that He is God, uh, and that He is a rewarder of, uh, Amen. Myself that seeks Him. Uh, amen. How many already come to know today uh, that when you have sought the Lord, you found God. Amen. Amen. In the time of healing. Uh, amen. In the time, praise the Lord, when the doctor said, uh, "I've only got a bad." for you. I, I just got some bad news and I don't know what to tell you. It's in those times that you need to be able to take it to the Lord and pray. It's not what the doctor says, but it's what God says. And God said, I'm still here today. I'll heal your body that's broken down. God said, I'll heal your mind that's troubled today. Pray to God, we're just putting a bed situation. Uh, many people today popping pills trying to get up. Uh, popping pills trying to be brought down low. Uh, but I come to let you know today if you just crank the Bible open. Uh, amen. If you just search the scriptures. Uh, the Bible says in them you think you have eternal life. Uh, and they are they that testify of me. Uh, they close and I refuse today. Uh, I refuse amen to be saved over here. Uh, and not experience what real joy is all about. I refuse today to sit on the sideline and see others get blessed and I myself and not in death. I'm willing to say, Lord, I'm going to go all the way with you. Lord, I'm looking for you to make a way out of no way. So God is saying to the church in closing, it's time for you to take your authority in the word that I've already given you today. In this day, you're going to have to have a greater sense of worship. Amen. You're going to depress your day like never before. The woman that had the issue of blood, she had it 12 long years. But she went on to say, I mean, she spent everything. If I can just get amen to Jesus, if I got to fall down and there is God on my knees and on my hands, if I can reach out and just touch the hem of his garment, I Amen. The woman said, I know that I'll be made to be made. I'm willing to say to you yourself. I'm not satisfied, praise God, with yesterday's blessing. But Lord, I need you to read me. I'm not satisfied, and I thank God for yesterday's joy. Lord, I 
are able. But the Lord is willing. Amen? Amen. Leave me with him. Right now, we're going to open up the altar for you to come. And as you come, I need you to learn how to come to God in a different type of way. Sometimes we don't realize we've already shut down our blessings because we don't approach God the right way. We come to the altar not with joy, not with expectation, but we come with sadness. But the Lord is saying here today that you need to enter to his gates with joy. Amen? Yes. Enter to the house of God with praise. Yes. When you come before the presence of the Lord, how in the world can you come to God and not expect to receive a reward? Because the Lord says, he that cometh to me must believe that I am, a, that I am God and I am a rewarder of those that diligently seek me. Yes. So God is saying today, without the and that musician having to play the right song. Where are the worshipers today? I believe today, unfortunately, we come to a place where we feel in the house of God we need to be entertained. We come to a place where we realize that, that we, we've forgotten rather that it's about us that's supposed to please God. That's what worship is all about. It's not about the choir singing the right song. It's not about the preacher preaching the sermon to make me happy. It's about me bringing God the gift that he wants. He wants somebody. And God is not going to accept anything. Amen. God will not accept a tired, broken down praise. Amen. God is not going to accept a man of a dry hallelujah. But God said, when you come and when you worship me, you bring me the best offering and praise that you have. Amen? Amen. Now, if you're not willing to accept anything from God, then you can sit there. Amen? But I believe the Lord is saying to those who already have it in their mind that they're willing to go on to a higher level. Amen? And I need you to stand up on your feet and give God worship right now. Amen? Amen.
for the Lord right now. Have this death washed away. 15 year old. Dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now. We take our hands in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. In the midst of your name, we come on realizing that there are some deficiencies within us, God. There are some areas in our life in which are dreams, God. There are some areas of emotional matters that's God. Hallelujah. So right now, God, we lift our hands to hold our brother and our sister's hand, God. We are praying not only for ourselves, but God, we are praying, God. Hallelujah. Jesus, God. We're going for our sister and brother to meet the needs right now that they live lives, God. Oh, God, pour back into us. Hallelujah. That what we have need of right now, God. Restore, God. Heal our minds. Heal our bodies, God. Lord, we are the one that is lying in the bed of affliction today. Make us whole right now. Lord, you said your word. Give that to us. Lord, as your word.